And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Cincinnati Reds. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to roll. And today on the hill, Shohei Otani. Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, his team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. Emmanuel Jaquez now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That misses. And it's a ball and a strike. All right, Singy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. 2-2 Two -two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. On the ground. Fires over to first. Out number three. So only one hit in the inning, the solo homer. And it Cam Collier, the next to hit for the Reds. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Racing makes the catch. Two away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. That's ripped. Base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So first and second with two outs. Number 19, the next to hit. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And that one lifted in the air, center field. He's got it, and that is that. So it's no runs. So runner at second, two down. Emmanuel Jaquez digs in now. Grounded out his first time up. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Singy Shohei Otani has been as advertised. Rookie of the year in 18, MVP in 21. He has impacted the game in a major way. And then, of course, he was on the cover of MLB The Show in 2022. Well, oh, he's doing something that we've never seen done before and just absolutely phenomenal that he can be that dominant on the mound and be one of the top hitters in the game in just watching that, it, it, it's got to take your Thank breath you. away a little bit if you're a manager or a teammate to see this actually happening before your eyes. 2-2 Two -two now. Up the middle. Third out, and that out. ends the frame. They put two on the board, two hits. One was a home run. Welcome back. Top of inning number seven at the play. Emmanuel Jaquez. And a pitch. Swings through that one. You know, these Padres, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. 1-1 one, one now. Swings through that one for strike two. 
With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Two, two. Next offering is outside. Ball. And he dodges that fastball. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. And a payoff pitch. Struck him out. Really fooled him with the breaking ball there. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Jonathan India. Kicks and fires. Lifted in the air, right center field. Jaquez sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. As good as he's seeing the ball. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. One for two. And a pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Jaquez has a beat on it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And the inning is over. Reds leave one. They We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Cody Stashak. So digging in now for San Diego, Emmanuel Jaquez. And he deals. Stashak, a 6-2 righty. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Next pitch in the dirt, and the count is one and one. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Friedel going back. Back some more. And it's off the wall. And he's got a double. Everything came together for him. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Abraham Toro, the next up for the Padres. The batter number 14, second baseman, Abraham Toro. And the pitch. Ripped to third. Whips it across. Out. Now one gone in the ninth. Now batting. Catcher. One down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Ivan Herrera. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Out to short. Gathers and throws to first. Now two away as they get a run across. In there safely. Start of a new month is a great chance to hit the reset button. Whether you're coming in hot or cold, getting that win today is a great feeling to continue through the rest of the month. 5 nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. for joining us the start of the weekend is upon us it's Friday evening baseball on the show it's the San Diego Padres going up against the Cincinnati Reds with Chris Singleton I'm John Chomby and Chris it's trade deadline day always an interesting day on the MLB schedule usually a lot of excitement for fans and stress for the front offices what about the teams and specifically the players Boog, I think there are three perspectives. You're that guy that's saying, hey, I want to get traded somewhere, maybe to a contender, maybe to a place that I have an opportunity to play every day. On the flip side, you're that guy that's very content with where you are. You've heard some rumors, perhaps. You can't wait until the deadline has come and gone and you're still staying put. And then the third person is that teammate that's looking and saying, we got a shot. I hope. Just about set to go now. Our starting pitcher in this one, Brandon Williamson. 
But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Misses inside. And that's ball three. Got it by him for the K. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hip. Runner at third, two gone. Now the batter now, Matt Nelson. In the air, center field. Paquez under this one. Brings it in. And the inning is over. So a run on one. Two outs, nobody on. Shohei Otani will hit next. He's over one. That's a laser base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Singy, but that extends his hit streak to 11. Emmanuel Paquez, the next up for the Padres. His first at bat was a strikeout. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. And that one is going to go. His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Boog, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore. It's really impressive how he's able to take an outside fastball, get around it, and hit it with authority to the pull side. Most guys are popping up weakly to the opposite field. So one out, nobody on. Now the third baseman, Cam Collier. He walked and came around to score his first time up. One down, base is empty. And that one is lifted in the air. Jaquez settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. Two down. Up next in Cincinnati, the right fielder. Man in scoring position with two away. And now, Emmanuel Jaquez. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. There's a swing and a miss. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Padres leave one. And it remains an eight. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. He's already homered here in this one. Emmanuel Paquez. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. Oh. 
Right side, hard hit. Steps on first for the out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. In now for the Reds, Matthew Barefoot. One for three. And that one in the air center field. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres take this one in a blowout. A win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. 8-2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.